Yo, what's up? Welcome to the vlog. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Dunk, head of Global Social and Communities, TSM. I'm about to fly to LA. It's gonna be a wicked trip, I've got lots planned. So my journey to LA starts on Wednesday. First off, got a pack, haircut, beard, COVID test. See you on the flip side. Good morning. I'm going to LA. Vlogging in public, huh? This is what it's like. I had breakfast and now I'm just chilling. Genuinely, the uh, the airport is just dead. <laughs> Yo, I'm in LA, baby. Let's go. I landed. I went through customs, they were obviously like, yo, what's up, big dunk, come through. I took a bus to Hertz to pick up a car, to drive in the USA for the first time ever, checked in my hotel, made a cup of coffee, and now I'm trying to connect to the internet um, so I can watch the Valorant boys. This room is sick, it's massive, it's a sweet first cup of coffee in the US, not so good. It actually just tastes like dirty water, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Maybe I put too much water in and not enough coffee. This little hotel coffee machine, uh, wait. Oh yes, sir. Right, so I'm really hungry, right? I got to the hotel, and I was like, right, I really need some food. And they have a thing called like a treat shop. I was like, in the treat shop, I was looking at all the stuff, I was like, ah, oh, this is all the things I see people tweet and eat about. Like, I see adverts for this. People always talk about this food. <laughs> I was like, right, I'm just gonna get all the things I see. So I got a truly hard seltzer. <laughs> it's four o'clock, I'm not drinking on a work day. This is not work, I'm traveling. I got a pocket, so I'm gonna go and cook it now. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna eat it all, but I'll give you honest ratings. I got m and peanut buzz, pog. I love peanut butter. I've got, I love Doritos with all my heart, but I've never had this flavor before. And then I got obviously my trusty Coke Zero. Best thing about coming here is you guys always do bottles in like one and a, one and a quarter pints like 600 mil. That's an extra 100 mil than I get out of home. All right, come with me. I'm gonna go cook a hot pocket. We're gonna make a hot pocket. <laughs> All right, how do we make this? Should we put it on for like two minutes? Screw it, again, two minutes. I don't even know what one I got. We'll do a smell test. All right, tell me this. Why, why is there a paper bag inside my ice box? What is this purpose? I don't understand. Beef steak, mozzarella, peppers, onion sauce, and a crispy crust. Oh, it smells good. Ah, ah. <laughs> Is this done? 10 more seconds. Okay, we're done. I don't want to, oh, oh no. <laughs> because I took a bite on the side and put it back in. I'm not gonna lie to you, I love Doritos, right? Back in the UK, we only have three flavors. We have cheese, cool original, cool original? Something like that, which I think is ranch or something for you guys, I don't know. This, unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. Chef's kiss, whoever designed these. Chili and lime, phenomenal. My mouth is a little bit tingling right now, but absolute perfection. We ate the Hot Pocket too. I'd give it a solid, Actually, yeah, like a solid seven out of 10, I think. Probably a little bit more steak next time, but then I guess if you have more steak, then it goes more expensive and the whole point of them are supposed to be these, this cheap product, but. But really, this is day one and I'm probably not gonna vlog the rest of this day because I'm just gonna unpack, I'm gonna unwind, recharge my batteries. So yeah, maybe, we'll see, we'll see. Yo, good morning, what's up? It's day one of the vlog. We're gonna call it day one because it's like the first day that I'm officially in LA. So I accidentally, I say accidentally, I did get into bed. I thought I was gonna watch TikTok for a couple of hours but ended up just falling asleep. I'm washed, showered, dressed, ready for the day. I'm with TSMT on for the, for the first ever trip to HQ. Today should be a good day and we're actually gonna get out of this hotel room. Uh, yeah, peace out, I'll see you in a bit. 
So filming and like on your phone and texting and all of that stuff in the United Kingdom is super like illegal, like proper lose your license style. So you're never actually gonna see me uh, driving the car at all. Uh, I didn't bring my GoPro. I mean, I could have like mounted it up the top here, but as far as like car vlogs go, probably only if someone else is driving. But anyway, we're going to drive to HQ now, which is in Playa Vista. And then we're gonna park up at HQ and go find some coffee. It's a little um, early for me. I can't get in there until half past when like receptions and stuff can show me around. This is a uh, morning from how I swear. So I parked up at HQ, decided to walk to get coffee. I went to a place that uh, our VP of Esports, Dom, suggested. I got there, ordered a coffee at five past nine, and I've waited over 20 minutes for my coffee. Seems like they prioritize people that order through like DoorDash or all these other places that uh, you guys have. <laughs> and I just gave up. I was like, I've got a meeting at half nine. I can't wait here any longer. So I just left. I was like, it's five bucks down the drain this morning and I'm not gone with coffee. But I did meet Dom, I did meet one of my colleagues, which is cool, uh, he was there. But yeah, I can't waste no time. I don't want to be late for this. <laughs> here she is. Here she is. You recognize this, people? <laughs> Yo. Yo, what's up? I'm at the TSM facility. <laughs> hey, vlog. Oh, we're vlogging. We're vlogging. We're vlogging. Meet, meet, meet Big C here. This I is am. this is Colin. What's your name? Kaide. Kaide? Yeah, they call me Kaide. Yeah, okay. On the internet, they call me Kaide. All right, this is Colin. He used to work in the social media team, still does. He's actually uh, now a Legends. Assistant editor? Yes. Uh, so this guy's the one that uh, helps tell the story for TSM Legends. Uh, we're in the theatre room at the moment. So you guys have seen this theatre room a lot. This is the uh, entrance to the facility where you come in and you say hello to our non-receptionist. Uh, but yeah, until next time. I'm knackered. It's 10 p.m. First day at headquarters was unbelievably overwhelming. Just kind of crazy how busy it was. You know, meeting people I've been fans of for years, like Andy, for instance. Yeah, it was kind of just like surreal, like seeing the front door, the logo of the TSM. Yeah, it was mind blowing, really. Yeah, it was crazy, crazy good. I watched the LCS boys scrim, listen to their comms. I listened to like a review session with like Chowy, a uh, new LCS head coach, like talking to all the players. So I watched a couple games, uh, we scrimmed. Then we have this like massive theater room. In the theater room with like Walter, COO, Andy, Don, new VP of eSports, Colin, social content producer, and a couple of people from Blitz, like watching TSM. We had dinner together, we had lunch together, had a bunch of meetings. It's an insane lifestyle. But tomorrow is gonna be a bit different because I'll be going to the facility in the morning with the boys, LCS boys. Then I'm actually gonna to go to the LCS studio. Yeah, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be a bit different. Uh, I'm gonna go up to my hotel room now. See you on the flip side, homies. Yo, what's up? Good morning. It's day two here in LA. Today, our new LCS team takes on evil crappiness. Now I'm gonna to head to head office and then we're taking a couple of cars to the LCS studio and I should be able to catch some behind the scenes LCS content today for like the first time in. I'm pumped for today. Should be a good day. Let's get it fam. So I'm in somewhere in LA right now. I'm not entirely sure where, but I'm on the hunt for a coffee shop called The Blue Bowl. When I got to HQ yesterday, James, as you know, Tonnington, said that Speaker and the boys always order coffee from Blue Bottle. So I was like, right, I have a couple of hours before I have to get to head office. Let's go on the hunt for this place. On Google Maps, it says it's around here. So uh, I'm going to go hunting. All right, mission accomplished. We got coffee. This coffee is called a Shakerato. It's espresso, milk, muscovado sugar, and then it's shaken like a freaking cocktail. It's nice and iced, which is what we need because it's nice and warm this morning i mean who comes up with these concepts i swear so we're gonna drink our coffee and we're gonna go for a little walk see what's about in this beautiful city of la holy smokes this is actually the best thing that i've ever had in terms of like an iced coffee straight up phenomenal it's so I don't even know how to explain it. But anyone in LA that goes to Blue Ball and gets a Shakerato, 10 out of 10 for me. I don't know, wherever I am right now is the coolest thing ever. I'm just walking through casually and there's like a football pitch, uh, two football pitches. There's a freaking volleyball net with sand. I mean, what? That's just so cool. And like, by the looks of things, it looks like the general public can just kind of come and use this. Or like, maybe you have to book it out with someone or something, but I don't know. Wait, oh, it's called Central Park at Playa Vista. There's lots of rules that we're on a football pitch, that we're at home. 
sorry for you Americans, I'm on a soccer pitch. Like, look, there's a goal. Ice is just, it's, what a day. This is phenomenal. I don't know what the frick this is. This looks more like a, it looks like a skate park, but I think it's just a playground. But look, how nuts is this, right? An actual volleyball pitch with sand, real sand. That's just so cool. I love this place. And there's a basketball court too. Flipping heck. On second thoughts, this warp lash adventure probably would have been very good to capture some B-roll for. Like, I'm playing football and we're chilling in the park and that, but I don't really know how I feel about filming people. Do I have to ask for their permission? Or like, do I just YOLO it and just say what up? But there were some kids playing in that, so I don't really feel like capturing B-roll with kids in is a good thing to do. They want to get my channel taken down before it's even started. So we made it to facility day two. Now, first thing you see when you get here, right, is the beautiful TSM Cadillac. It's better in person than in any like of any of the photos. But like the TSM branding on the side of it, it's just so dope. And then I didn't realize that there's a second one. I mean, it's quite dark on this vlog, but uh, yeah, the other TSM logo, I mean, it's dope. It's so cool. Now the front door's really dope. It has like Bluetooth function. So when you like walk up to it, you just wave your hand uh, and the door opens. <laughs> Welcome home. Hi, my name's Dunk. I play uh, Jungle. Um, I'm really happy to win the game. Um, it was a challenge and I... Mm, yes, we, we win the next game. Uh, yeah, this is Mr. Gia Makari's room. He has like a full-blown setup. And then up here, he actually has some like chess things, but you would have seen this on his stream. But like next door to him, there is like another stream set up. Another couple of setups. I think actually our Valorant Team X are gonna be here. And then obviously next door, this might be closed. I don't know. Uh, you guys have seen this one too. This used to be a conference room and it was set up as a conference room. And then when Valorant Men's came down, they basically guided the whole thing and put out desks with like double monitors and stuff on it for them to all come and like boot camp from. This one's kind of like set up, double monitors, PCs, Herman Miller chairs everywhere. Um, and then like the biggest TV I've seen, they have these in so many rooms, I don't even know how big inch this is. But the funniest thing about the facility is there is literally Logitech gear everywhere. This table is just full of like pros, the really nice headsets, I don't know what they're called, but they are damn light. It's just everything everywhere. I can't really show you too much of the facility at the moment. I'm hoping that our piece of content is released like Monday or Tuesday and then I'll be able to give you like a real in-depth, behind the scenes proper tour. You know what I'm saying? I don't actually know when this vlog's gonna come out. I'm thinking that I'm gonna have a few episodes, actually, um, so I'm gonna work with Pat, the editor, to get things worked. Hang on a minute, that's sword art. Bro, I thought you went back home. Um, anyway, actually there's one other room that I can show you. This is just the kitchen, you guys have seen this, anyway. This is cool. I'm gonna train in here this week. Every morning, I'm gonna come, train, work out. I've lost like 20 pounds. <sighs> They're slim. They have some sick ass things in here. Like the massive TSM logo. The, they have TSM logoed up. They're like weights. Yeah, we're bringing it. All right, we're at the RTS studio. I can't believe this moment is actually happening. Team are behind me. Just chilling, we just done our COVID test. Uh, EG are over there. Uh, but yeah, we're just chilling. Waiting to go into the RCS studio. Just can't get over this moment, honestly. But it's so weird seeing like pro players walk past me that I've watched for years. I don't know, so starstruck, but yeah, weird. Amazing. So much fun, honestly. All right, LCS day one done. Didn't really want to film too much inside because a bit high pressure and like, I was also on photo duty. It was so surreal seeing like behind the LCS studio after seeing it for like so long on uh, Legends and like the hallways and the review room and then like watching a game of comms instead of just uh, like watching it on the LCS like stream, listening to the casters and that. And then we listened to the review, but overall like good game one, which is sick. But I mean, I was put in charge of driving Chowy, Simon, Kays to like the studio and we just got back. So I don't know why they ever thought putting a a British kid in charge of driving high precious cargo to the LCS was a good idea, but hey, I got them back successfully, so I'd call that a W. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go inside, uh, watch some Valorant, watch the rest of the LCS games, get some food with the boys. Uh, just living the dream, I swear to God. This is my life now. 
I'm uh, chilling out on the sofa, following on the big screen. They're playing Cole right now. I got PL vs 100 Thieves on the laptop. Big screen Valorant, little screen LTS. Big Collins over here editing some Legends stuff. Emily's just turned up and she's in this room here. We'll go and say hello in a minute. Oh, but for now, TSM winning 9-3 versus Cole. Big W incoming. So we decided to go and get some uh, bubble tea. And with uh, Emily, I don't think you can see her. Get, say, say hello to the vlog. Hi! Uh, and big, big C. What's yeah. up? Uh, I'm tired, but no one's here. I mean, there's a couple of people here. A guy called Ben from Blitz, some of the Academy boys, the LCS Academy boys. Basically, this is the kitchen. They have like a permanent chef that cooks lunch and dinner every day. Like every day I've been here so far, I've had lunch and dinner cooked for me. Such a dope setup. Uh, I think this is the one. Let's have like three drinks. But you'll see it in Legends, probably. It's in Legends, best TV series ever, apart from Dunk Vlog. Out here, there's like a bunch of seating. It's really nice in the sun. And the LCS team have been out there. All right, so this room is where they play, like, everything. You know, they have the booths. We have Mother Puh. Mother Puh, I am the MVP. Do I touch it? Should I touch it? Should I touch it? Oh my god, I touched it. This is where they, like, hang out all day, every day. Sit, solo queue, scrim, play, eat. And then this is where the magic happens. This is the Lenovo Lounge, baby. This is literally where the magic happens. This is where the boys get told to their straight ass when they fail and they mess up. They play pool to relieve the stress. The other day I sat down on the end here. Hayton gave me his headset and I got to like watch their scrims, like listen to their scrims. So yeah, that was really cool, actually. Really dope. Yeah, this is like the most prestigious room, I reckon. There's the boys with the trophy. All right, people. Right, another day down. It's midnight now. Uh, so I definitely think I've reset my sleeping schedule because although I'm really tired, it doesn't feel like it's midnight, which is a really, really good sign. I'm gonna go to my hotel room. I'm gonna watch a couple of TikToks for sleep wake up tomorrow and I'm gonna go and find breakfast tacos. I'm gonna go get coffee and some breakfast tacos next door and it's gonna be the best morning ever. So I'm signing out. All right. So we're really out here vlogging in public. I got my tacos. I'm sat in Homestead. Ah, this is fun. My tacos are absolutely insane. I got four of them. They're like this big. Um, cheese, chorizo, egg, the whole shebang. It's unreal. Holy smokes. You guys can't see it. I'm visibly shaking right now. I'm just stood in blue ball. Oh my God. Just looking at my phone. Someone comes up to me and just goes, hey Dunk. I look right in his freaking Soren. The literal Burger King. Oh my gosh. So I haven't really been that starstruck this whole trip because obviously I've been working with these people. Like my colleagues and stuff for like three years, everyone at TSM. But seeing Soren then, and like him saying, hey Dunk, this guy's my genuine like idol. Like I look up to Bjergsen. He's taught me subconsciously so much in life. Like I've learned so much from him, like professionalism. I mean, I can't even go into it, but yeah, what a moment. Uh, yeah, I just, oh my gosh, <laughs> what a day. <laughs> I love this man. I need to just chill and calm down a minute. Yeah, just a big, big moment. All right, we're off to LCS studio. Again, I'm taking Chowie, Kays, and Simon to the studio. All right, yeah, what's up? We're at the LCS facility again. I'm gonna take some photos now for social and then capture some content for that. Do my job. New players, new staff. It is a new era for TSM. Right there is the LCS stage, but you got the riot store behind me here, which is super cool. I'm just gonna walk to the TSM room now. So 100 Thieves are on right now. We're on after. They need to change this. This is speakers MV, not speakers. Yeah, this is speakers MVP spot, but at the moment they've got um, blabber. Shaking my head. Wait, this is cool. 
This is the uh, LCS diner. I presume this is where fans can go, or players, or staff, I don't know. But I mean, there's literally every TV. <laughs> In every single booth, there's a TV. Uh, it's pretty insane. I just trimmed his way. So this is the infamous Legends Walk that you see. We've got the sick ass mural as you walk down here. It's the boys, Mr. Bjerg. They kind of do this before the game. When the other team gets stomped, they make their way down here. This is behind the scenes. Um, I've just won myself another MVP award because I'm, I'm so good at juggling but I can't bother to interview today but I uh, want to thank my fans and my family. Good, good, wicked, wicked, we get W next game. Hey look, Caesar. Wait, this is the man, the myth, the legend. Say hello to the vlog. What up dude? This is one of our legend shooters. <laughs> He's a king, absolute god. Alright, we're back from the SES games. Hey, what's this room? Beautiful. This is the room next to Andy's room. This is like, next door's like Andy's room. Let's not go in there. Got to HQ, did a little bit of work, and then Dom came in and was like, yo, let's get a drink. We went up to a pub just up the road. Uh, sorry, you guys called it a bar. An American bar. I had a couple of drinks uh, and some sweet potato fries. And we went in his Tesla, right? This guy's license plate says Valorant. Like, that is sick. You guys have the coolest personalized number plates in America. We have such basic bitch number plates in uh, United Kingdom. I just don't understand how. And then apparently, this Corvette is Dan's. Dan Din, owner of TSM. If true, he needs to come home and take me out for a ride in this, because it's absolutely insane. Like, that is a stunning whip. Holy smoke roonies Sheesh! They have these funky entrances off the side here. Here's Paul. Oh, this is what I was talking about yesterday. That's where they sit outside and have lunch. And there's sofas. So you can just sit out here in this nice stuff in the sun. Man, what a holiday. Oh, sorry. What a work trip this is, hey? All right, so we decided to jump on stream and do a vlog from the facility. Assignment was absolutely heroic and helping me set up. But we're streaming right now. Um, chat, say hello. This room we, I showed you the other day, this was the old conference room which then got turned into our food camp room. I'm gonna order some food in a minute and chat's gonna help me decide what to order actually, that's a really good idea. The stream helps me uh, decide what food to get. We got Dave's hot chicken. Uh, this is gonna be delicious. Got some chicken tenders and some chips. Oh my gosh. Why does chicken tenders come with a piece of bread? This looks so good. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna eat some food. We're gonna chill with stream. Uh, we're gonna do a mukbang stream. We're gonna watch some uh, React Andy stuff. See you in a bit. Hey, Kwaide, can you say hello to my to my vlog? Say hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, hello. Thank you. Yeah, yeah I just okay. I just came in to say bye, and uh, Kwaide was the last person here. Uh, so I just wanted to say hello to the vlog. I'll see you tomorrow, Kwaide. See ya. <laughs> Such a nice guy. Actually, <laughs> so awesome. I had a sick ass day. Yeah, one uh, again. I swear to gosh, every time I have another day, I'm like, yeah, nothing's gonna top this. And then the next day, just tops it. Thanks to those who uh, to join my stream as well. That was a lot of fun. I actually had some really good food. Those chicken tenders. Mm. Chef's kiss. <sighs> Say hello to the vlog. I hate watching Legends. Why are you watching Legends? Did you see, I can't get like a a general idea of pacing. Yeah. What, so you can uh, so you can pull out the clips? Well, just so I know like what sections or what content's more useful. Yeah, that makes um, sense. Goodbye. Adios. See you tomorrow, Big C. Yeah, we'll We're just gonna go and say hello to Emily real quick. Huh? Hi. Hi, what's this up? This is, can you introduce yourself? Uh, hi, my name is Emily, also known as Emily Cutie, and I am a professional Valorant player for TSMX. Legend. 
absolute hero. Goodbye. Bye. Sorry, I'm, I'm going home now and I just wanted to come and say hello. Oh. So thanks for introducing yourself properly. Yeah, no problem. Have a good night. Goodbye. Bye. See ya. I wasn't going to vlog anymore, but I saw our merch room was open. So, wait, what am I seeing? Okay, everything's out. Cool. Uh, this is our merch room. There's like a row of clothes here. Yeah, and here. Uh, you can't really see what's going on. I didn't really want you to see. But yeah, this is our merch room. This is where like Eric and the gang all work out. It's really cool, actually. I really like how they've got this like set up here. So I wasn't gonna vlog anymore, but I don't know when I'm gonna get the chance to like show you some of the other stuff. Um, and like some of the other rooms. All the LCS uh, trophies, kind of pog. This is our NA International LOL trophy. We are Intel Extreme Master winners. We are the first NA team to win something internationally. But you know, people always forget about that. Shaking my head. Anyway, we're peacing out. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go back to the apartment hotel. Watch a bunch of TikTok and fall asleep. Get a good night's sleep tonight. So tomorrow I'm getting up early. I'm going to the gym at HQ. And I got meetings. Another good weekend coming. I'll try and vlog as much as I can. See you next time.